Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the so called West Indian Jamaicans, Levi, the so called Haitians. We have Reuben, the, Sem the Seminole Indians, Gad, the North American Indians, Issachar, the so called Mexicans, Zebulon, is Guatemala to Panama, Manasseh, the so called Cubans, Ephraim, the so called Puerto Ricans, Simeon, the so called Dominicans, Ashes, Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali, is Argentina to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who have big brother the Hawa Shine. Let's get it ready to come redeem one third the elect and two thirds the center for the destruction. And this is the artist's rendition of how Yahweh Shai looks according to the scriptures, okay? According to Revelations 1 in uh, uh, 13. And he is the one that's getting ready to come back. This is, he is the only one who can come back to redeem us out of this condition of captivity, okay? That we're in, okay? His people coming for the elect, okay? This is uh Revelations. Revelations 1 and 7. Says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also that pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so I want. Say he's coming with clouds, and all eyes shall see him. The clouds that it's talking about are the chariots, man. Right? The chariots of the Heavenly Father, when you read in Psalm 16, chapter, right? In Zechariah, the fifth chapter, are the curse that it said that go forth through the earth, okay? This is how he's coming back, right? He's coming back through these clouds, and lately we have been seeing a lot of uh, more and more sightings of chariots, man. We have been seeing lately. I mean, I mean, a numerous amount of chariots, man. Brothers look up in the sky, and certain brothers, you know, certain brothers have gifts. When you read in Corinthians, the 12th chapter, certain brothers have gifts to prophesy. Certain brothers have gifts to tongues. Certain brothers got those gifts to, to discern. Okay, if certain brothers can tell you, hey, that's a chariot right there that you might, you might overlook and you might not think, but it's certain brothers that have the ability to see chariots, man. You know, when they say, hey, that's a chariot, you start paying attention to it, and then it wind up being a chariot, okay? So we, we've been seeing a lot of sightings of these chariots lately. Because why, man? The Lord is getting ready to make this move. They say he's coming with clouds and all eyes shall see him, man. This is Yahweh shot, and this is how we, when he come back, Hey, he's gonna be coming back with a sword, man, okay? And that sword is gonna be to what? To to set the, the uh, nations back in order, okay? I'm gonna go to Revelations 19. Revelations 19 and uh, 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. What was this? That was John the Revelator on the island of Patmos, who was one of the apostles, right? Was banished to the island of Patmos, okay? To, to, to uh, 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 he was, he, like most of the apostles, all the apostles we know were killed a certain kind of way. He's the only one that was banished off to, uh, uh, to serve slavery in the salt mine of Patmos, okay? And the Lord gave him the revelation, gave him strong revelation, man. He kept him alive to give him this book of the revelation, okay? Meaning the revealers, man, okay? And it says, see thou do it not, because he fell at the feet of an angel, okay? And the angel say, hey, don't fall at my feet, okay? And he says, I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren. The angel said, I'm your fellow servant. I'm here to serve you also, right? That's, that's one of the points uh, 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 when you read in the scriptures, when you read in uh, Matthew, the 20th chapter, when Yahweh Shai, uh, the, greatest, the greatest among you, hey, he, he, he was a servant unto the least of them, man. Okay? In this truth, man, it's not about position, right? And it's not about a position, man. You know? It's about being a what? Being of a service, man. Fellow brethren 
that have kept the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So when you see Yahweh Shai, these words are read, those are prophecies, man. That is the spirit of prophecy. So how do you come back to the Lord, man? You repent and you follow his commandments, man. Okay? The teachings that he gave the disciples to teach unto other people. You follow those words, man. You know? You follow, you follow the debarium, man. You know? This is how you come back to the Lord, man. Israel, but Israel is what? They, they disobedient, man. Okay? Disobedient is, 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 is a disobedient man. They stiffen it, as the scriptures say. Okay? It says, I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon it was faithful and true. The Yahweh Shai, man. That horse represents power. So when he come back on the chariots, that's representing a, 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 a numerous amount of power he's going to have when he come back, along with this angel, man. And they're going to be chariots within themselves. So it's going to be all power when Yahweh Shai and the angels return to the earth, okay? And it says, faithful and true in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. So the Lord is going to be judging the earth, man. With the power that his father gave him. He's going to judge this earth, man. And every man is going to get judged for the deeds, whether it be good or bad, okay? All right? And he's going to make war. He's going to make war with who? The other nations. First and foremost, uh, the Edomites, man, Esau. He's going to make war with Ishmael. He's going to make war with uh, 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 Elam, Moab, and Ammon. Okay? The Lord is getting ready to make war, man. And it says... His eyes was a flame of fire, and his head, on his head were many crowns. It said, on the Lord's head were many crowns. Because the Lord is coming to what? Knock you other countries out of your rulership to take your power. If someone has taken your crown, they have taken your power. If they knock your crown off your head, they have disrespect your power. The Lord is getting ready to disrespect your nations and take down your nations, man. Okay? And we see it, man. The chariot sighting, man. We know, we know what the scriptures say, the prophecies, man. Certain things have to happen, man. You know, microchip, World War III. Martial law has to come, okay? In the detainment camps, being, being, me and being led to the detainment camps to be tried and tested, okay? We know those things have to come, man. Right? Uh, I said tested. Let me let me read this scripture here. Let me read this scripture. Baba Kasha. Uh Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And can the spiritual demon cast you into a prison? No, but his counterpart can. Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. Who is Who runs the earth? Edom, the Edomites, man. Esau. This is their rulership in this particular time. They are that devil that the Bible speaks of that's going to cast you into prison, okay? And it says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that he may be tried. You're going to be tried. You're going to be tested. You know? Esau going to be wanting you to uh, uh, denounce the Heavenly Father and the Son. He's going to be urging in that microchip on you people, man. Okay? He's going to be he's gonna be wanting you to take that chip and become a what? A, a servant unto him. Okay? And it says, And ye shall have tribulation ten days, and, thou be, and, and be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. So the Lord said, Be thou faithful unto death, man. If you have to die for it, then you die for it, man. 
fear him that can kill the body and the soul. Fear not him that can kill your body. So we can't, we, we should not fear Esau, man. We fear the Heavenly Father, man. So if it comes to be death, man, we're going to take it, man, with our head up and with great honor that we're dying for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Because he came down and he died and he got humiliated, he got spit on, he got beat, man. He got dogged out for us to be able to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because the Heavenly Father had wiped his hands with us, man. Because we were disobedient, man. And he told us, man, he would, he would basically knock us down, man, and make us fall if we didn't obey his law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know? Uh, Deuteronomy 8 and 11, be, thou, be that thou forget not the Lord thy power and not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I commanded this day, okay? So be not forgetful of it, man. Don't forget the law, statutes, and commandments. You know? This is a heavy thing, man. He said, be faithful unto death. And we know that time is coming. It's locking, man. Under the weather. You know, we look at we looking at the news constantly. What you got in the news now, you got uh the uh let me get it, let me get this, let me get it. Let me get Matthew. Matthew 24. trouble for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet so we've been hearing wars and rumors of wars so what we've just been experiencing the last week uh donald trump fired on on uh on the iranian head general right he killed him and a lot of other high ranking officials okay this is excitement that you see when it happens because we were waiting on that we were waiting on world war three but it says it is not yet it's a, basically a rumor of war. It's a process that has to go or take place. Okay? And you see the process, man. They are, they, now they have to deploy uh, troops to the to the Middle East. They have to they have to go in. You, you probably gonna have to have a draft. So what you have is we, we see when Iran they basically shot back at different bases. Now you have uh, 82nd Airborne deploying deploying to uh to Iraq, man. You have Marines deploying. Okay? You have about 60,000 troops that's in the area right now. That's basically living in that in that small section of the Middle East right now. Okay? That's the land of, 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 of decision. Okay? Let me get a uh, Two and twenty, but I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land buried and desolate. His face towards the east sea, and his hinder part towards the utmost sea, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up because because he have done great things. You say remove far from you the northern army. That's why you see right now. Troops are being what? Moved to the Middle East, man. Okay? They're being moved to a certain area. Let me show you. They're being moved to... They're being moved to this area here. We have soldiers all in this whole area. Right? The Northern Army is the American Army that's going to be moved. It says it's faced towards the uh, uh, utmost sea, the Euphrates and the Persian Gulf. 
So they're going to be moved to that land that's barren and desolate, which is right here, which is Saudi Arabia, okay? And then the hinder part is the Red Sea, right? And they say an ill stink should go up because this is the area where the Lord is sitting to plead uh, the sinners and plead with the people, man, that have done, done horrible things, man. You Edomites, man, and all you armies and you nations. This is where the Lord is going, going to take, this is where a great death is getting ready to take place, man. Okay? It's getting ready to take place there. Let me read that again. So, when, when it starts, it says, But I will remove far from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. I say he's going to be in that land of Saudi Arabia, man. Okay? It says, with his face towards the east sea, the Euphrates and part of the Persian Gulf, and the hinder part towards the utmost sea, into the Red Sea, and the stink shall come up because it's going to be a great slaughter in that land. Right? So that's why it says the stink shall come up. And, and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. Man. So the Lord is basically getting ready to, to judge America, man. No other way to put it, you know. This is why we come out, man, to speak truth. Okay. Uh, let me go to Joel three. Joel three and nine. Proclaim me among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. So that's why you see. These people have woken up, they have went into the strategic war rooms, and they have planned uh, uh, what, what we call a, a, we used to call a movement when you move out, deployment, right? The logistics have to be together to basically get all the, what they need to sustain themselves. They have to make sure everything is ready, make sure your tents are all in working order, all your weaponry. Everything dealing with weaponry has to be in operational mode. Your soldiers have to be in, in kill mode. The switch, the switch is turned on. Uh, it's a switch that be turned on. It's an evil switch that's turned on once you get in the airplane, right? Once the airplane takes off and you know that you're on your way somewhere else, it's a, it's an evil spirit that comes over you, which it's like a kill mode, man. Okay. People that people that's been in the military who have deployed they basically know what I'm talking about. Okay. When you get up in the air and you on your way, and something come on you, you be in kill mode, man. And that's that's the mode of these troops right now. They're sending Marines. They're sending the 82nd Airborne. You know, they're getting ready for war. Rumors of war. But the end is not yet, man. You know, we know certain prophecies have to happen. We've seen the bombing, so that don't mean we're going to be... Uh, it's all going to take place next week or in two weeks, man. It's a process, man. The time of Jacob's trouble has to happen, man. Okay? And it says, uh... Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. And let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Come up to the what? The valley of decision you know you got Iran all their men of war coming up anybody that's allies to them because now it's about taking you gonna have to take sides man who you with that's that's where it's basically it's coming to are you my ally or not that's what you got in the news right now okay and it says beat your plowshares into swords and your pronouns into spirits and let the weak say that I am strong. And that's what you got, man. These countries have nuclear capabilities right now. They're not afraid, man. Used to, uh, when America run rough shot and bomb something, everybody would be afraid. And they would bow down and come to the table to negotiate and let this devil basically run rough shot in your country. And let him come in and take your resources. But now the Lord has a different spirit on these heathen now. Bomb us, we're gonna bomb bomb you. You attack us, we're gonna attack you. you. See what these people don't know. America has a lot of these Iranians. They live right here in the uh, U.S. Man, you call them sleeper cells, man. Okay.
and it says, assemble yourselves and come up all you heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither, cause the mighty ones to come down on your howl. The mighty ones are who? The angels. Because when World War III basically kicks off in the Middle East, they're going to take part in that destruction that's going to be coming. The Lord Yahweh Shai is going to be coming back with those angels, man. Okay? All right? And it says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. Let them come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. The Lord said, There I sit to judge them, man. That's where, that's where the sentencing is part of the death the the uh, 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 death that America's going to, to receive because when you when you're found guilty you come back to sentence the Lord said there I will sit man okay he gonna dwell in that land basically the spirit is gonna be there to basically bring you to death okay 